I've always experimented with thrust vector control, that is TVC, on small-scale rockets before, but I've never gotten to fly one. This video will detail all the progress I've made on my new TVC rocket that I hope to fly in the next few weeks. So now let's start from the bottom of the rocket and work our way up. At the very bottom, we have the thrust vector control mount. This is the device that points the motor in different direct directions to create thrust vectors for the rocket and keep it upright. I designed this uh, thrust vectoring mount in on shape, and it uses two 12 gram servos with metal servo horns to point the motor mount in different directions. The motor mount is spec to fit a 29 millimeter motor, but with an adapter, we can also fly 24 millimeter motors. That is what I plan on doing. Moving up further, the rocket's main structure is three 5mm carbon fiber rods that all the main components, like the thrust vector control mount, attach to. I'm doing this instead of a traditional cardboard body tube because it's a lot easier for me to uh, reach the flight computer, adjust components, and I also have a much better idea of how, how things are looking inside the rocket, which makes integration much, much easier. Right above the thrust vector control mount is the flight computer. I designed this device about a year ago, and it uses a BMP388 barometer to measure altitude. It uses it logs all its data to a micro SD card slot, and it has an LSM60S3 inertial measurement unit that will be used to give the thrust vectoring mount its inputs. It also has uh, capabilities to fire pyro channels. It has MOSFETs on there to fire black powder charges to deploy the parachute. The last thing on this rocket is a hollow section of tubing above the flight computer. This part houses the parachute and shock cord. This will be used to hopefully ensure a safe recovery of the vehicle after it reaches Apogee. And that is the basics of the whole rocket. Now getting into software, we are using a P, right now it's a proportional integral controller, but I might add a derivative as well. And the way I'm testing the control algorithm is by uh, firstly making a two-axis gimbal to put the rocket on. Then I clamp that gimbal to my table, and I, bas and I basically add um, RC gear to the rocket. So that's an ESC, a propeller, a brushless motor. I add a receiver, and I have a transmitter. So I can spin up a motor, which simulates thrust, and then I... I manually give the rocket torques on the gimbal and see if it stabilizes. And by this method, I can test out the control algorithm and tune it. I also have an offline simulation that I plan to incorporate into the into this whole like situation. And that is a lot easier to iterate on than having to spin up a big motor every time. So in terms of testing, the first thing I did was just spin up the brushless motor and see if it produces like a pretty decent amount of thrust. I'm not exactly measuring how much thrust this thing is producing, so I'm kind of just hoping that it's going to be relatively close to the thrust of the motor. I don't know, some things don't have to be perfect. And the next thing I did was clamp it to clamp the two-axis gimbal to my table, and then I manually tilted the rocket without any without spinning up the brushless motor just to see if the TVC mount moves in the direction that I'm expecting. And after that, it's time to start spinning up the motor and running actual tests. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage of this, but it took a couple of tries and a, a bunch of stupid mistakes until I got it to kind of work. Once again, I'm sorry, I don't have footage of this, footage of this but it was kind of working. And then after that, the Arduino broke. <laughs> So, un unfortunate, unfortunately, I have no more means to test this system. I did order new Arduinos, and they're arriving tomorrow, so I just wanted to get this video out to tell you what I've been doing, but hopefully, since we got that, like, kind of success in the test setup, hopefully it'll be smoother from now on. And while I was editing this video, this happened. Walter, I challenge you to a TVC race. OMG! I so it looks like there's going to be some drama going on in the next few weeks. But yeah, this is just an extra incentive to try to get me to finish up this project. In terms of actual scheduling, I hope to have the next, the, the first flight uh, done in the next few weeks to maybe a month or so. 
I still have to test the parachute deployment mechanism, and I also want to, once again, as I mentioned, incorporate this, my Python simulation to, like, uh, the brushless motor test, so I have an easier way to kind of tune the simulation and tune the control algorithm. I also have to figure out the parachute deployment stuff and maybe put a new flight computer on there. I've been developing a new flight uh, flight computer, and it might be it might be ready in time for this TVC flight. I don't know, but yeah, that's what's been going on. I hope you found found this video interesting, even though there weren't any test flights. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I will catch you on the next one. Please subscribe. Bye bye.